Good evening, this is Friends of Fortune with you here. It's 11.31 p.m. on Monday, October 11th, 2021. I want to wish everybody a happy Columbus Day. Hope you all had a great one. This first recipe of the night is for pumpkin spice sheet cake. It's a soft pumpkin cake, perfectly seasoned with warm pumpkin spice seasonings and pure pumpkin. Topped with cream cheese frosting and garnished with chopped pecans. This one pumpkin dessert recipe is a, the one that you want to make every year. It takes 15 minutes of prep time, and it takes only 25 minutes to cook. It serves 24, yeah. That, they don't call it sheet cake for nothing. It serves a crowd. The pumpkin spice cake, you need two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, half a teaspoon of nutmegs, a quarter of a teaspoon of cloves, half a cup of butter, softened, one and a half cups of sugar, those are the dry ingredients. For the wet ingredients, you need three large eggs, a can of pure pumpkin, that's 15 ounces, half a cup of sour cream, a quarter cup of whole milk, and a teaspoon of vanilla. For the cream cheese frosting, you need an eight ounce bar of cream cheese, softened, a half a cup of butter, also softened, one half teaspoons of vanilla, three cups of powdered sugar, and a half cup of chocolate can pecans, but that's optional. But it would, just to give it a good crunch on top, That'll be, that's perfect for in the frosting, whatever it is. You heat your own through your grease. Spray a cookie sheet with cooking spray, very well cooking spray set aside. It's a 12 by, inch by 17 inch size. Make sure you use a cookie sheet that has a higher size on it. That's very important or else your cake will not bake evenly. In a small mixing bowl, whisk together the flour, the baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, nutmeg, and cloves and set it aside. In a stand mixer or a large bowl with a hand mixer, add the butter and sugar and beat for about a minute or until lighter in color and fluffy looking. Add the eggs, the pumpkin, sour cream, milk, and vanilla and mix until it's well combined. Beat until it's well combined. Add in your flour mixture and mix on low speed just until combined. Spread the mixture evenly into your prepared cookie sheet. Bake for 20 25 minutes or until a toothpick inserted near the center comes out clean. Cool completely before frosting. I prefer to make the cake the day before once it's cooled. I put it in the fridge overnight and then make the frosting and frost it the following day. It's easier to frost a cold cake. Yeah, it certainly is. For the frosting, combine the cream cheese, butter, and vanilla in a mixing bowl. Beat with an electric mixer until light and fluffy. Slowly beat in the powdered sugar, just one cup at a time, and continue beating until the frosting gets smooth. Spread the cake and sprinkle the chopped pecans. Serve right away or refrigerate right before serving. That's an A pumpkin bake good. Gets better and better the longer it sits in the fridge. And yes, you can keep your leftovers stored in the fridge. Now, what a great idea this is. From TogetherAsAFamily.com, this recipe for pumpkin spice sheet cake is sure to be a welcome centerpiece for your fall table. So that's going to do it for this one. i got another one coming up. It's a crock pot recipe. Stay tuned for that one.